Today we're upgrading our 2022 Ram 1500 Classic with my favorite accessory for the bed of your truck. It's the Yakima Bedrock HD. Our bars are gonna be 78 inches long, so it's gonna give you a lot of room for a lot of different accessories. If you're doing the wraparound or clamp on style accessories, the width of the bar is gonna be three inches and the thickness is gonna be an inch and a half. We've used a lot of the clamp systems from Yakima. Pretty much everything has fit on here, even the band style or the stuff where you just have the little nuts that it tightens down on. We put a lot of different accessories on here, but we don't have to stick with just the wraparound stuff. We do have a T-Track. The cool thing about the T-Track is the end cap does not need to be removed to access it. We're gonna have a little weather strip right here. We can take that back, trim it down to where we want, and we can mount things that way. It's going to have a black powder coated finish. You can leave it on your truck. It looks kind of cool in my opinion. And I think this is a great candidate for a rooftop tent setup. The bars have a cool look to them. They have a cool little shape and it really adds a lot of rigidity to the bar. That's why we have such a big capacity. For your on-road purposes, we can load up to 300 pounds on these bars. And if you are going off-road, it is gonna limit us to 180 pounds, which is still a lot of weight. I just like this because it's super simple and easy to set up and it's a lot easier to set up than the ladder racks. It's also not near as bulky. It really does work really well. If you have a drop in liner or spray in liner, it's going to work with it. You might have to trim around the drop in liner, maybe, but with your bare beds, it's going to work. It's not going to work with any type of tonneau covers. On each end of the bar, there's also going to be tie down points, which is really clutch, especially when you're tied down kayaks and stuff. If you are doing kayaks, since we don't have a long bed or anything, typically the kayaks are going to be a little bit longer than your bed. So they do have a hitch extender you can grab with it. So you can put your kayaks this way. I just don't like the look of roof racks on trucks. That's just my opinion. This is a lot simpler. There's a lot less parts to it and it can still do everything that a roof rack can. So if you want something that's simpler and you want your truck to do more, I think the Bedrock HDs are going to be the best thing for your truck. You can see how quickly we put these on, maybe five minutes. So stick around, we're gonna show you. We just wanna prepare the bar to do that. We'll just take a little Allen key right here and we're gonna take this bar off. So this is the bottom end of the bar. Top end's gonna to have this little strip in here. So you flip it over, right here is what we want. So we're gonna loosen this up. It is kinda of hard to fish it out with your fingers because the track's so low. So I rotate it like this and you wanna keep that in a safe place and we'll take this off we only have to do this on one side it's just the way i do it so think about it we're on the passenger side and when we flip this bar over we want this ridge to be like this so that's going to be for this side but we got to put the other one on first but exactly the opposite we have a little t-track it'll slide like this and just push it all the way to the end and then we can do this like this. The whole goal here is to have these flat pieces facing each other. And then once that's done, we just need to put our cap back into place. You don't want to torque this down too much, just enough to where it's not gonna go anywhere. I like to flip it over, get one side to where it needs to be, and then Get this side there too. We want these to be up against the bed, but we want to make sure it's centered. So we aren't centered. So you can either use the numbers on the underneath to help with that, but I just find it quicker to kind of just take a step back, go back and forth, and we're pretty much there. So get it centered and also take into consideration what we're planning on putting on here because your bar spread may change from accessory to accessory. With our feet on the bar where we want them, you want to hold it in place and just rotate it around. There's going to be one little screw right here. We're going to take it and tighten it up. Try not to move the tower while you're doing this because we had it perfectly adjusted. And we can do the same thing on the other side. Flip this over just like this and just make sure everything's 
nice and tight up against the wall. And then what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take this, we're gonna lift this up. Notice how it kind of pivots a little bit. We're gonna keep it up like this. We're gonna fit it into these little slots right here. What I like to do is take our little piece here, get it up on top of there. And it kind of just bounces up there. And then righty tighty to get it pretty much all the way to the bottom of the rail. Twist that up. You don't really have to tighten it too much once you get to that. You just want it to kind of contact it a little bit. And then you want the lever to do the rest of it. So you should hear a snap like that. It's pretty solid. So if it's a little too loose or it's a little too hard, you really don't need a whole lot, maybe like a finger or so, but you can definitely tell that it's nice and in place. So shake it, and if it doesn't move, you're good. We can do the same thing over there. A very simple product to double the amount of stuff you can do with your bed without having to add any length to the end of your truck. And that's pretty much it for our look at the Yakima Bedrock HD on our 2022 Ram 1500 Classic.